What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another vendor reset. This is gonna be Cassie Mendoza. So she recently just opened up. Sorry about that guys, last night when I did the normal vendor, she was closed, so maybe she got some new items. Let's, let's have a look, but before we do, uh, I've actually just recently did done all the apparel caches. I'm gonna give you guys a video, quickest way to get them uh, and showcase you all the sets and what they look like. They're really nice, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty pleased with this apparel event. Very, very nice. Silent Night is one of the best we've ever had. Probably the best we've ever had. Very, very cool. As you guys can see, this is one of my favorite outfits so far, even though we're weapon camo, but we'll get into that on an, in a later video. So, I've currently just started a hardcore character. I've got some pr pretty good hints and tips for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do that later on, when maybe when I get to level 30, if I do, uh, because if you die, you permanently die. So we're gonna have a look at that. So make sure to click that bell. Stay tuned for the next videos, guys, because there's gonna be some good ones in the future. So let's look at Cassie and see what we got uh, this week. All right, she has got the Pyromaniac. So this seems to be the same, but hey, it's better that we checked. The Pyromaniac, this is one of my favorite guns in TU6 and now TU6.1, amazing gun. The base damage is 11, 1, 2, 6. It's quite low, but remember guys, you're yeah, perfectly ignited gives you 40% weapon damage to burning enemies. And now after two kills, it applies the burning to the next enemy you actually hit. So you're gonna be doing this all the time, especially if you use a survivalist with the fire grenades or my pyro build. In PVE, this gun is a must use. You get so much damage from it. A PVP, obviously uh, people have hazard protection, but still a lot of people don't. So this is very much viable. And let me tell you guys something now, you can kill someone in half a mag with low damage. It's insane when they're on fire. So it's definitely a must try, it's fun to use. Just reroll distance for something else. It comes with recharged as well, which works perfectly with the pyro build as well, because you get extra charges for your chem launcher. So it's very nice, very nice combination. I love this gun. If you don't have it, make sure to pick it up, even if it's a low base damage. Then we've got Alp Summit. This is a percussive maintenance. This is a named backpack, very nice. Have you tried turning it off and on again? 32% skill haste, which is really nice, guys, with perfect tech support and hard hitting. This is a great backpack. You can reroll this for maybe armor or skill power. Really go full on into the skills. And this is nice because perfect tech support is one of the best uh, skill damage mod uh, well, modifiers because it actually gives you 30% uh, skill damage and it just constantly refreshes. So it's not gonna be for 10 seconds. You're gonna kill someone, you're gonna get your skills back really quick. And by the time you kill the next person, it's refreshed again and you're gonna always have that 30% extra skill damage. It's very, very nice and a must use. Ongoing directive mask with 7% crit chance, 13% skill haste, offensive mod slot there as well. True Patriot backpack, 4.5 weapon, 18 skill haste and 226 skill power with hard heading and an offensive mod and utility mod slot. Decent backpack. Hardwired knee pads, 302 skill power, which is not bad, with a utility and a defensive mod slot. Uh, these are some good items, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some decent items now. Uh, we do have a Negotiator's Dilemma holster, 22k health with 22% skill haste. Very, very nice, defensive and utility. Now you can get upwards of 46,000, some with their health, but it's very, very nice. I'd definitely pick it up, it's worth picking it up. You can maybe increase the health rolls. Tip of the spear, holster. This has got 10.5 crit chance and 12% skill haste with an offensive and utility mod slot. Aces and eights knee pad, 7% crit chance and offensive and defensive mod slot. FAL SA 58 para with sadist optimized and grease. The base damage is 12771. Then SOCOM MK20 SSR, fast hands, extra and riscali. Extras are good for any kind of gun at the moment. Very, very nice. Pitch of support. Uh, this is a great backpack. Uh, it's got 6k armor, 13k health, 191 skill power, 3.5% crit damage with efficient and capacitive. It helps you get those uh, attribute rolls there. I mean, you could reroll whatever you want, yeah, but it's pretty decent across the board. I'd probably take away uh, crit damage, put something else. Uh, we can't be too fussy. These backpacks do run low stats, so don't think, uh, don't be fooled by the low stats, guys. It's not easy to get all these attributes in one. So just remember that. China Light Holster, 28k health, 2% crit damage, not bad. Offensive mod slot with 0.5 weapon damage. Optimal range of weapon handling. Horrible mod. Don't know why they give, they've given us this week. Then we have got 67% heal for the chem launcher. Very nice. If you guys want to use the healing chem launcher, it's great for you. Come pick it up. So that's it for Cassie this week. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. So it's a quick one. Uh, make sure to click the bell, subscribe, leave a like for more Division 2 content, and I'll be seeing you agents in the next one. Peace out, boys.